Hello, Rudy. How are you? Hello. I'm, I, everything's okay. What about you? Pretty good. How are you feeling? Well, I feel a little bit tired because today I started my my work at 6 a.m. Wow. Why so early today, Rudy? Because today we had an important day in the company called the, the Game Changer Day. Yeah, because we call the people game changer so we had activities like the welcome and, and we had a concert uh, at 5 p.m we had an, a, a cake birthday <laughs> due to the the 23rd anniversary of the company and it was <laughs> so exhausting <laughs> That's a long time for the company. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's great. It's great that you had a nice day. A long day, though, because a lot of different activities that you had to do today. Yeah, it was a long day. Okay. No problem. All right. Let's take a look at Suyapa. How are you? Uh, Laura, how are you feeling? How are you doing? Hello, teacher. <laughs> How was I'm your fine, thanks a lot. <laughs> yes. My my day was uh, busy. Okay. Yes, but all all well. Okay. Why was it bu busy, Suyapa? What? Why was it busy? Ah, uh, because. Um, I have checked the product, um, the product in the company, uh, like fruit. Mm -hmm. and, and after we was introduced the information in the system and other activities. 
I don't eh, como sentir el día. I didn't feel. Ah, yes, I did. <laughs> that, that time is very fast. Okay, all right. Um, yes. Well, for me, I like the days that are, are busy. Um, some people don't like because they say ah, a lot of work. I like it because it's fast. You finish yes. the game, you don't feel. It's like, wow, already it's time to go home. Yes, already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to start by reviewing yesterday. Yesterday, we learned a little bit about the EDs and INGs in present participles and past participles. This is to help us describe how we feel or how things are. Today, we're going to start with a small exercise just to make sure and see if everybody understands and it's clear from yesterday. So on 3.4, number one, Suyapa, number two, Rudy, number three, Mario, uh, number four, Eduardo, number five, Ana, and number six, Byron. Okay. Go ahead, Suyapa. The number one? Yep. Okay, Johnny did is a very, Amazing actor. Okay, good. Rudy, number two. I find animated films amusing. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Amusing. Amusing. Okay. Number three. I think that was Mario. Okay, I'm not interested in science fiction movies. Or sci-fi movies. Okay, good. Number four. Eduardo? Um, I'm mm -hmm. bored by watching television. Teacher, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, Mario. Yes, Mario, what happened? Okay, now no, Mario. Now we lost you. Okay, number five, Anna. So Jurassic Park was um, excited. Repeat. I found Jurassic Park was an um, exciting. Okay. Exciting book. Good. Number six, Byron. Okay. I'm fascinated by uh, J.R.R. Tolkien at novels. Tolkien's novels. Sorry. Okay. Great. Uh, Number seven, let's go back to Rudy, number seven. It's surprising that horror movies are so popular. popular. Okay, good. Uh, number eight, Anna. I was really, um, really shocked by the, the, by the price. Okay, good. Byron? Okay, Byron, no. Laura, number nine. Disgust. Okay, read it. Go ahead. Oh, the mess was disgust. <laughs> it's okay. I'm a little bit confused. No, yes. <laughs> okay, that's why we review. No problem. That's why we review. And Mario, number 10. Okay, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, Mario. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, Mario. Okay, I always find thrillers too confusing. Okay, all right. No, no, sorry. I always find thrillers too confused. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Let's take a look. Most of them are correct. Not all of them, but most of them are correct. Here we can see number one and number two. Good, very nice. 
Number three and number four, correct, okay? Number five, number six, also correct. Very nice. Seven and eight, amazing. But here in number nine and 10, we just have a little mistake. Number nine is correct, great. But number 10, no, right? Because we are talking about thrillers. So thrillers is not a person because it's not a person. The correct is confusing, okay? So what do we need to remember? We need to remember that when we are talking about things is with ing. The things that affect us are ing. Our emotions is with ed. This is going to be the big difference, okay? Ed for our emotions, ing for the others. It's okay? It's okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So. What are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is with our partners, um, we are going to go ahead and make small groups and we're going to talk about the last event that you went to. Maybe a concert, maybe a movie, maybe a park, maybe, uh, I don't know, a fair, maybe the theater, okay? As an example, I'm going to demonstrate, okay? So um, the last time I did something big with my family, we went to the movies. We went to see Mario the cartoon, and my son was fascinated by the movie. He thought that the movie was very entertaining because it had a lot of cartoons, characters, especially for his video games. He really enjoyed, this is the idea. I am focusing on using the descriptions of emotions and how the things were. It's okay how to practice with our partner? Yeah. Yes. Okay, teacher. It's okay. Any any questions, any words that you don't know? No? Not at this moment. Okay, perfect. So all is clear. Excellent. Let's take a moment then and go with our partners. Let's try it. Laura, Harrison, any questions? Uh, no. Okay, because I see you didn't go to your groups. So, Laura, let me try to send you again to the group. It seems that you were unable to join. Okay. You didn't join, no. Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I, I have an issue with my internet. Then. Okay. All right, let me try to move Mario then, and I'll try to move you to this one. Now, Laura, were you able to accept? Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, Dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences using the words learn about movies, actors, and novels. Make sure to write them on our discussion box.
Okay, so I see that Laura and who is it? And Herson and Yancy, you're having some problems connecting. So let's take a look and do this part. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Okay, I think it's more difficult if you have internet problems, Laura. Okay. Laura, please pronounce all of the words. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, Dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences using the words learned about movies, actors, and novels. Make sure to write them on our discussion box. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, Dreadful. Okay, so I see uh, we are just about ready. Any questions, any words that you're not sure on which ones you wanted to say? No, we are clear with the ED and the ING. It's okay, the difference? Yes, for sure. Yes? I think. Okay, great. Now we're going to be looking at the same a uh, way to describe, but now using adjectives, not using verbs, but using adjectives for descriptions. This is the next part that we have. So let's take a look at a small video where we see many new words. Dumb, fabulous. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list for you to work it out you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. 
absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences using the words learned about movies, actors, and novels. Make sure to write them on our discussion box. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is with your partners, you're going to classify them. With our partners, you have to decide between the words awful, what are the four words that are the synonyms of awful? What are the four words that are synonym of wonderful? The four words that are synonym of stupid? and the four words that are synonym of strange. With this, then we want to make sure that you understand. So first, classify each one and make sure that it's clear for you what are the meanings of each one. For this, we're not going to take a long time. It's only going to be four minutes with our partners because there are only words, okay? So only four minutes with our partners to classify and then we check together. Yancy, you okay? Okay, I'm going to move to Yapa. Nancy? Yancy, are you there? Okay. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful. Dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences using the words learned about movies, 
actors and novels, make sure to write them on a discussion box. Absurd. Okay, guys, let's take a look. What do we have? What words are synonym of awful? We have disgusting. Disgusting. Dreadful. Horrible. Which one? Dreadful. Dreadful. Terrible. Terrible. Horrible. And horrible. Very nice. Good. What about the words for wonderful? Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. Fabulous. 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 Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Marvelous. Okay. Marvelous. Fantastic. Wonderful. Those are, uh huh. So we have marvelous and fantastic. Those two words go with wonderful. What other two words? Mm, bizarre, talvez, maybe. Bizarre. Mm, bizarre. Mm, no. Bizarre is strange. Correct. Okay. Bizarre is strange. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Good. Sorry. Okay. No, no, no. It's good. That's why we try together. We try okay. together. Mm hmm so fabulous, fantastic, marvelous, outstanding. Those are the four. Fabulous. Fantastic. Why outstanding? Oh, because outstanding is the same. Great job, outstanding job. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Wonderful. So, wonderful, yes. Those are the four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. What about stupid? What can we have for stupid? Dumbed. Dumb, yes. Silly. 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 Mm -hmm. Where? Odd. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Odd. Mm, no, not odd. Absurd. Oh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. All these for strange, sorry. Uh-huh, strange, correct. Okay. So it would be the last one absurd. What do we have for strange? Strange is? Odd is strange. Correct. Odd. Weird. 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 Mm -hmm. Unusual. Okay. Unusual. Bizarre. And bizarre, exactly. Those are the ones that we use with strange. Okay. Are there any words that you're not sure about the pronunciation or where it goes in the classification? What does it mean dreadful? Dreadful is something that you don't want to do or you don't you don't want to expect is something that like when you go to the dentist many people the dentist is dreadful that they pull out the tent the teeth <gasps> i they nobody is not uh is nobody wants to do this this is dreadful and it's classificated with awful with awful correct okay. mm -hmm. it's a synonym of awful Any other words? Maybe absurd. I don't know if that pronunciation is correct. 
correct absurd okay absurd is what is the classification it's stupid correct correct great so in this moment we are learning many different words here opinions adjectives and pref and the words with ed and ing to describe things so we're going to take a moment and exactly that we're going to talk about books and movies okay first we're going to listen to some people describing things and we want to identify what are they talking about here we're going to listen and we're going to hear and select four okay what is the best adjective about what they say for each one as an example, what are they describing? Is it fascinating, silly, or strange? Number two, is it wonderful, odd, and boring? And so on. So listen to each speaker and then select, we're going to select together, which one is the best? It's okay? Okay. okay. Yes, it's okay. Page 88, exercise five, listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. 3. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. 4. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88. Ex okay. We're going to listen again. But first, let's make our choices. Number one, what do you think? Fascinating. 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 Okay. Number two. Boring. 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 Number three. I think it's terrific. 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 Oh, it's very different. Is positive or negative? What's positive? I think. Okay. So positive is terrific. Dreadful is negative. Okay. Good. And number four? Ridiculous. 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 Okay. Yes. Let's listen and see if you have any change of opinion. Exercise five, part B. Listen again. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. One. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. 
What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. 4. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay. Do you want to change or everything is okay? I think it's okay. Okay, great. Yes. Excellent. Were there any words or anything that you're not sure what they meant? No. Okay. Perfect. So now what are we going to do in this moment? We're going to take a, a few moments with our partners and we're going to discuss a movie, a book, or a series. And we're going to try to use new vocabulary that we've learned. So for example, you can choose a series from Netflix or a movie that you saw recently or a book maybe that you like to read. And we're going to try to describe it. Talk about the book the characters, the story, the plot, you like it, you don't like it, and why. This is the most important, okay? Any okay. questions? Yes? No, 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 no okay. questions. Okay. No questions, okay. All right. I think, um, let me see, only, I saw two people put in the WhatsApp group. I saw Carla said that she can't participate is going to be oyente, but um, who else? I I don't see them here. Sullivan. Sullivan, Sullivan, Sullivan. But here no Sullivan, so I think everybody here can participate except for Carla, right? Only those two, okay. All right, so I make sure to put Carla into a group with everybody else. Okay. Yancy, how's your internet? Can you, it's okay? Uh, yeah, teacher, I think that the internet, it's okay. But uh, yesterday I had problems with the connection uh, when it's uh, uploading to the room. Okay. And okay. today I had the same problem. Okay, so let me change to make it easier, just in case. We're going to put you into a different room. Okay, all right, let's try it. Remember, talk about your movie, series, book, why you like it, you don't like it, and use the descriptions. Fascinating. Oh, I saw a movie recently. The movie was about, and then describe it, okay? Okay. All right, perfect. Let's go then if there are no questions. Alvaro, you okay? Hello, teacher. Sí, por aquí estoy, teacher, pero tengo un gran problema con el internet. Me saca cada minuto. 
Mm. Gran problemón. Ok, ok. Let's try another. Total, ni, ni, ni me di cuenta de lo que íbamos a hacer porque estuve fuera. <risa> Ay, Álvaro. Mal día de internet, ¿eh? It's okay, Álvaro. If you can enter the group, tell me about your a book or a movie that you saw. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Relative Clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Relative Clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? That 
for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Okay. So let's take a look. Let's see if we were paying attention to our partners and we have it. Okay. Oh, hmm. Eduardo, tell me, what did Herson talk about? Okay, Herson couldn't share our, his uh, favorite movie or a book because he didn't remember all the information, but... Okay, no problem. What about Yancy? What did Yancy tell you? Uh, Yancy shared with us that uh, she is watching a Syria. Uh, I don't know what is the name, <laughs> but it is about an airplane that uh, it is in Netflix. Oh, mm -hmm. What is the name, Yancy? Sorry. Uh, yeah, the name was Manifiesto. Manifiesto. Yeah. And it's about uh, this uh, airplane disappear and appear in another time later. And when they come back, uh, all things are the same, but uh, there are a lot of things that happen in this plane uh, while it was uh, disappear. Okay, all right, thank you very much. No, it sounds interesting. Yancy, what did Eduardo tell you? Yeah, well, Eduardo talked about um, a series that he saw that the name is The Night Agent, that I saw that series too, and, <laughs> and we shared the, the same feeling feeling that it was a good series. <laughs> and well, this is about uh, an agent of, that works in the White House and it's in charge to answer a telephone that uh, it's um, to attend emergency calls about the the CIA agents when they are in problems, and a call was received, and he involved with the person that calls, and at the end <laughs> they resolve a mystery. Okay, all right, very nice, interesting as well, good. So Yapa, tell me about Byron. What did Byron tell you? Um, Byron um, tell about the movie, I think, uh, about Mario. Um, Mario and other classmates about the... Um, I don't remember, mm -hmm. but <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Byron, what about Rudy? What did Rudy say? Uh, Rudy only asking questions about the, the, the discussion. We don't have the, he, he participated a lot with the, 
with our team or a uh, how do you say themas topics yes our topic sorry he always uh, give us uh, gave us sorry ideas about the topics that i tell tell them okay well, then tell me byron what did suyapa tell you about suyapa so, uh, tell us told us sorry about a an a series a series that is neighbors i never uh, listen about this a uh, series mm -hmm. but uh, uh, rudy compares the this series with a movie but I was lost with this information because I never uh, <laughs> listened about it, for for be honest. Okay. Yes, and I tried to uh, give my topic because it was like uh, more easier. Okay. Uh, yes, I, to I, I told them about the movie, Mario's movie, and mm -hmm. we talked about the book uh, Luz Negra. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. know how do you say Luz Negra in English. Okay, black light. Black light, but this this like uh, is a, a number in El Salvador is not the same. Or oh, we can change the name, for example, because this book was a uh, written here, right? I I don't know. I, I never heard this book. <laughs> really? No, mm -hmm. it's about two two uh, health health that. A uh, talking a uh, liver top part. No, you never, you never listen about. Never. <laughs> okay, yes, but we talk about this book. Okay, all right, interesting, very interesting. Maybe I have to see. And the last one, let's take a look at Anna and Laura. Anna, what did Laura say? Hey, Laura said about the series. Uh, of the Netflix, um, maybe is related to uh, narcotrafico. <laughs> How do you say narcotrafico? The narcotraffic. Yes, uh, the the um, the person is the no, the wife and hus and husband like. Yeah. Uh, the husband is um uh, incrimin incrimin is incriminado in incriminated. No, incriminated for the the that of the people okay. and and she tried to help uh, maybe they lose a song maybe but the um the people uh, the narcotraficantes um, mm -hmm. fight the some and that's all <laughs> okay a little different all right and Laura tell me about Anna okay Anna told me that it, that she watched a series on Netflix uh, the names of the series is starting over, comenzar desde cero. And I have never watched that series, but she mentioned me that it's about um, a young man, I think, that he has cancer. And at the end of the series, uh, the young man uh, died. Uh, I think he uh, he can he can support support or oh, I don't know what word can I use for this situation uh, because at the end uh, the young man died and she she told me that it was a sad story and I don't remember anything yeah, else. watch it's a sad story and ah okay <laughs> no and already have the spoiler in the end he died okay I know the movie <laughs> 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 is the spoiler all right well yes good this is the idea excellent job the important is that we practice describing and using adjectives this was the topic 
Now we're going to go ahead with our next topic. And our next topic is relative clauses. Relative clauses is actually very easy. Relative clauses is only information, especially extra information. We normally have two words that we use with relative clauses. And those words are who and that. We usually use the word who with people and we use that with things. In this moment, we're gonna watch a small video to help us understand a little bit more this topic of relative clauses. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today, we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Relative Clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Okay. It's okay the idea when we use relative clauses. And give information about something in the... The most important is that relative clauses is the idea is to join sentences. The idea is take two sentences and put into one. How do we put into one? By using who or that. Remember that who is going to be for people, that is going to be for things. The same here for which. Let's see if I can give you a little bit more. Okay. That is great because we can use it for people or things. So if you're not sure, you can always use that who you can only use with people, and which you can only use with things. It's okay, the three? Yes. Yes? Yeah, oh. yes. Okay, so super easy, okay? I want you to describe your coworkers, people that you work with. We don't know them, okay? But you can describe it, okay? As an example, I have a coworker who loves to eat donuts for breakfast, okay? Is only extra information. It's not two sentences. Is I have a coworker, he loves to eat donuts for breakfast. So I put in one sentence, I have a coworker who loves to eat donuts for breakfast. It's okay, the idea? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the idea is we're going to join two sentences. Right now, we're going to try it with our partners. Here we have the exercise 3.10, and we're going to take, it's only four sentences. So it's not too many sentences, only like the example. We're going to have the two sentence, and we're going to make one. Example, he is a movie director. He made the film Hulk. Ah, in one sentence. He is a movie director who made the film Hulk. This is from Knowledge Check 3.10. Yes? 
Yes, teacher, can you enable the, the screen share function? Yes, of course. I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. I will do it in this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. David. David. Okay. Hey, it was too fast. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize already it's time. So don't worry. Tomorrow we're going to go ahead and continue with unit 3.10. We're going to make sure that it's clear. And maybe I think we have enough time tomorrow to begin the midterm exam. But if not, we'll see, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, enjoy your nights. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.